Good morning to everybody except for Nintendo. Evil Nintendo has done it again, guys. They haven't had the best consumer-friendly reputation since ever, and this year they've been proving it with Shining Stars. We now got some details about the ongoing lawsuit between Nintendo and Pocket Pair from Pocket Pair themselves, and the details are enraging. As I'm going to keep this really surface level because I am not a lawyer and I'm not as smart as I might appear. The glasses make an illusion, but I'm just going to call things for how they are. The plaintiffs claim that Power World released on January 19th, 2024. Take that date, put it in your pocket, we'll go back to that. Infringes upon the following three patents held by the plaintiffs and are seeking injunction against the game compensation for a portion of the damages incurred between the date of registration of the patents and the date of filing this lawsuit. Power World released January 19th, 2024. There are three patents that they're suing for right here. Patent application date, July. Patent application date, February. Patent application date, March 5th. I'm no lawyer, but that's very far after the Power World release and success. But I've heard that Pokemon and Nintendo do not lose lawsuits that they actually act on themselves. So if they engage in war, they win in war. And this is one of these cases where I just think sets a bad precedent for gaming, right? I mean, if you're going to make patents on your game after the fact that the competition has already made a fair rights, they had fair usage of any of these things because they weren't previously patents. Hold on, let me write a narrative that makes me a victim here. Follow me here. There's one right here that ends in 91. Every time I search the patent that ends in 17, it just goes up to 91 B1 and B2, and they seem very similar. From what I've been reading, it almost seems like one of them is for battling and the act of like catching and progressing because you are owning and have a monster. You have a device that you throw, it has three turns, you can do things to add or hedge your odds into catching said monster, like deteriorating its health and putting status effects on it. One's for battling Pokemon and the other one's for catching them and how you go about catching them. The final is Ride Around Field with Pokemon Rides, which is a lot of this is based off of Pokemon Arceus, I've noticed. It's a link to Pokemon Arceus' trailer where they are riding on Pokemon. The play character is allowed to release a fighting character who fight toward the direction of the basis of a third operation. So yeah, that's basically releasing and battling Pokemon. Fire an item that affects a field character placed on the field of the virtual space aiming in the direction. So now you cannot catch wild animals by throwing things at them, making them weaker and obtaining them and progressing because you have obtained them depending on their rarity, especially if you have weakened it or you have made it some status effect that made it easier for you to obtain said monster. Capturing creatures through an object, engaging in battles and contacting monster on a monster, and then dynamic land and air and water mounting systems. If all three of these infringements land, it's going to run them about $66,000. They're essentially getting sued for three Honda Civics. But what it does to the game's future is most important. You won't be able to capture, battle, or fly, mount, or ride any pals. They will need to find a valid workaround that doesn't reflect anything that is Pokemon, and it's going to take some time, effort, money, energy, and most of all, a huge open mind from the fans of Pal World that already got used to the current systems in play. They're going to have to make a massive overhaul to their game that's going to change everything. And I predicted it correctly that they were not going to go after Pal World for like looking like Vulpix or like Eevee or whatever. They went after them for very high level things that could absolutely devastate the game. Because at the end of the day, if you thought that this looks like Meowth, all they could do is make that Pokemon that's bipedal, now walk on all fours, change the color, and then just move on. But to change the core structure of the game, that is a devastating blow. Way more than three Honda Civics. So this is really easy for me to say, I'm not going to play the new Pokemon ZA or whatever it is. Because Pokemon should be doing better, right? Let's be honest. If I think there's a lack of innovation. Pokemon Arceus was mid at best. And this game absolutely snaps on Pokemon Arceus. It's everything that we wanted Arceus to actually be. And let's be honest, if Pokemon Arceus was this, except with actually having a Vulpix or an Eevee or whatever, we would not be playing this game. This game would not have been so crazy. I think the only difference would be that it had a shock factor of having guns and didn't follow this formulaic recipe that they do every single time they release a game. The limitations of Switch, sure, they're rough, but you can play games like Apex Legends on there, you can play games like Minecraft on there. Why can't I have servers where I play with my friends in like an MMO-ish style survival-based game where we rely on our Pokemon to not only 
battle and breed and have collection of, but also have a survival element to it. We're moving on. A lot of these 90s babies have moved into bigger and better games. I think Pokemon and Nintendo have officially made themselves an anti-competition space, which ultimately kind of turns it into an anti-progression space. If you don't have competition, you're not going to be able to move forward, right? I personally don't think Pal World is a carbon copy of Pokemon at all. Um, I don't think Pokemon's ever made a game where the objective has anything relatively close to what they're doing in Pal World. Let me know how you feel about this inside of the comments. Am I overreacting? Is this completely ridiculous? Have a great week. Talk to you guys later, and I'll keep you guys looped in on more of this Pal World debacle.